Daddy's got everything. Not quite. Where's the cake? That's right. Where's the cake? I thought you'd never ask. Take a look down the anything tunnel. Came in here looking for change for my arcade. And what is everybody staring at? <sighs> oh, <laughs> I thought that this was a carton of cheese giggles. Turns out to be a box of uh, artsy craftsy stuff. <sighs> is that schema out here? Listen, mister, the next time you want stuff brought from downstairs, you'd better do it yourself. Oh, uh, excuse me, Harry. Uh, uh, have you fixed that ticket puncher yet? Not yet. Oh, would you mind taking a look at it? It, 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 um, or should I just have it sent out? Before? No need to send anything out. I'll fix it. Gee whiz. I do not even know what he's talking about. I didn't ask him to bring anything up here. And besides, this is not a carton of cheese giggles. It's a box of... Birthday presents. Birthday presents? Somebody around here is having a birthday party? Harry, we're having a surprise party for him. Those are the presents we made! <laughs> yeah! I mean, uh... Oh, I, uh... I don't like surprise parties much myself. Uh, you kids, uh, go ahead and party without me. Have you ever been to a surprise party, Schemer? Kids? Yeah. Kids? Would you like to come to Grandpa's surprise party? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh... Well, that, of course, would uh, depend on what time it was taking place. Right now. Right now, yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't have a present to give him. This could be very embarrassing for Schemer. Why don't you give him some nickels for the jukebox? Nickels? Coins of the realm? Moolah? You want Schemer to carry? Mmm. 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 Money? 
What a great idea, Schemo. You know how much Harry loves to play the jukebox. Uh, okay. Hey, I'll get to listen to the music, too. So it won't be a total loss. <laughs> okay. Is everybody ready? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> oh, Harry, could you come out here for a second, please? <clears throat> now what? Can a man work in peace? Well, someone wants to tell you something. Well, what is it? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> <laughs> well, sir? This is mighty nice. Yes. I guess maybe I was a little bit irritable today. But it's always good to know there are folks who care about it. So thank you. Oh, there's the mail from Pelican Falls, right on time. <laughs> Harry! <laughs> Harry? Huh? Harry, Harry! Oh, the whole bundle birthday card! Hey, 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 hey. Hey. <laughs> it was a great party. The best birthday party I ever had. But what if he doesn't like me? Talk about something you both love. Trains. Very well. Here I go. Excuse me. You for real? As real as you are. Was that you I saw? That's relief at least. But what do you do here? I live here. Been here since before the Mimosa Limited made her first run. That's going back a ways. Oh, I've been round the roundhouse a couple of times. Started this job the day the President's train went through. Do you remember that? Indeed I do. I was working on the Eastern Division then. And just imagine, the President of the United States was going to be riding on the Indian Valley Railroad. The man himself was on the back platform and he waved to us. Wait a minute. Just imagine! I can! I can! I was on that train too! You were? I've been trying to tell you. I was the Indian Valley Railroad special conductor. Every special train that went out, I was there just to make sure that nothing ever went wrong. You mean to tell me we were both on the same train and we didn't even know it? It looks that way. Can you beat that? I, uh, didn't catch your name. Mr. Conductor, at your service. I'm glad you spoke up, Mr. Conductor. Yep. Reminds me of a story Big Dan Cunningham told me once. Swear that's true, of course. The train was moving through a hailstorm. He said there were hailstones as big as basketballs. I said, no, possibly baseballs, but not basketballs. But he swore to it. It was the biggest hailstones he'd ever seen. Reach for the speed. Reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Tuned for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Next, here on Channel 17. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. So much to see, so far to travel. So much to learn to know. Friends by your side. Pepper, dear cousin Kara, guess what? Our grandfather Harry was transferred to Fort Barley.